Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Today we'll talk about how to increase your citation. Now you are a researcher, you publish a research, but you are stuck with a low citation for your uh, published research. So how you increase your citation uh, with you is Associate Prof. Dr. Hassan Faisal Ghazi from Research and Publication, and I'm Editor-in-Chief for Global Journal of Public Health Medicine. If you are interested to publish with our journal, you just go to our website, www. Uh, uh, gjphm.org Global Journal of Public Health Medicine and uh, you can um, uh, uh, see all our uh, content. So, why citation matter? Number one is the quality of your research. That means you your research is high quality. Of course, we have the key performance index, the KPI and the H index. You need to increase your H index. This is one of the KPI for researcher and the working in academic. And of course, nowadays, citation is matter for university because of the word ranking. Uh, so we have three um, platforms to count for your citation. Of course, we have Scopus, we have Clarvit, which is Web of Science, and of course, we have the Google Scholar. So how to increase your citation? Number one is the title and keywords. Watch your title length and punctuation. The impact and influence of research papers can be adversely affected by long title, too many authors, and poor punctuations. Based on a review of more than 150,000 papers submitted to UK Research Excellence Framework in 2014, it is found that article with more short title had a higher citation counts as did those with the fewer authors. The study also found that citation increased with the use of columns in the title, but decreased with the use of question marks. So how we use columns to introduce elements of a list like the study population consisted of the following groups, students, faculty, and staff. To elaborate on the statement, the research question was as follows. What are teachers' perception of teaching to the common core state standards? So this is how we use the columns. This is example. I, uh, I took it from uh, BMC Public Health. It is a Q1 journals. So you can see the health literacy and public health column, a systematic review and integration of definition and models. Or you can put the study design across sectional study. This is another example. Number two is avoid uh, mentioning a country in your title, abstract, or keywords. Paper with country name in the title, abstract, or keyword receive fewer citation and are published in journal with lower impact factor compared to paper without country names in the same field. The result of an analysis of uh, 450,000 publication published between 2004 and 2011 suggests that country level study may be less appealing to the international community compared to broader study on the same subject. The other point, carefully choose your keywords. Keywords is very important and will decide whether your paper will be cited in the future. Uh, choose keyword that researcher in your field will be searching for so that your paper will appear to them in the database. Use your keywords and phrase in your title and repeatedly in your abstract same. Repeating keywords and phrase will increase the likelihood your paper will be at the top of a search engine list, making it more likely to be read and, of course, cited. So, number two is name on affiliation. You need to use a consistent form of your name on all your papers. Very important. Your name should be the same. The first name, the last name, your affiliation, even how you put it, department of, faculty of, university, and then your country. This is the affiliation. Very important. Publish review article. As we all know, review article, uh, uh, they get more uh, citation compared to uh, uh, original articles and especially if you are talking about systematic review and meta-analysis they are highly cited articles consider open access we always say this open access your citation will be higher than if you choose a closed access as we know closed access you not you, you do not need to pay anything but uh, open access uh, has potential to reach much wider audience and achieve a greater impact Present your work at conference, very important. Conferences is very important for networking and collaboration. And uh, when you present your paper, people will start to cite your uh, work. The most important nowadays is uh, using the social media. 
provide links to your paper on social media and on university profile page. Usually, the most important are Facebook, Twitter, ResearchGate, Academia, and LinkedIn. Uh, of course, ResearchGate, Academia, and LinkedIn is very important because a lot of uh, researchers and scholars on that uh, on these platforms. And of course, nowadays we will know about Almetrics is a term to describe a web-based metric for the impact of a scholarly material with an emphasis on social media. So we have the Plum X, we have Impact Story, we have Almetrics, different uh, platforms. So this is like it is like a donut. This is Almetric. He will tell you uh, how many LinkedIn users, Google Plus, uh, uh, Mendeley. Uh, Wikipedia, Facebook pages, peer review, tweets, blogs, news outlets. So all your uh, the performance of your research. And this is for Plum X from uh, from Elsevier. Also about usage, citations, social media, mention, uh, and also the captures. So this is if you go to Scopus, you can see the Plum X metrics for this research. Uh, you can see all the details here. So actively promote your work, talk to other researchers about your paper, even ones not in your field, and email copy of your paper to researcher who may be interested. Create a blog or a website dedicated to your research and share it. And of course, one of the uh, technique is to do visual abstract when you share it on your social media is a graphic summary of information from abstract of an article that meant to convey key finding in brief format. So this is how you do component of effective visual abstract. Of course, you have to put the title, summary of outcome. This is the author and citation. Uh, this is the name of the journals, visual display of the outcome and date, that data of outcomes. So this is a simple one. This is an example I created about uh, visual abstract. This is mother attitude toward vitamin D supplement. So we put the main finding here in the middle. This is the conclusion. This is the author name, the name of the journals, and this is the link for the journals if people are interested. And of course, when you share it, you have to put the link so people, they will go to read the full paper and of course, the chance to be uh, cited is higher. The other technique is video abstract. You can, um, you can just record to yourself talking about uh, the, your paper. The aim of the video abstract is to promote and highlight your study. Uh, of course, you need to publish hot topics nowadays. We are talking about COVID-19. Uh, we are talking about ageism, aging. Uh, so you need to um, uh, talk about hot topics, uh, climate change, all these uh, uh, trending uh, subjects. And of course, you need to cite previous work. But make it. Uh, but to be clear, you just cite it if it is relevant to current because too much uh, uh, citing previous work, it's called self-citation and it will affect your H index. Uh, thank you so much. If you have any comments, please uh, put it in the comments. Uh, below the video, please subscribe to our channels, like and share our videos. And if you, if you need any other types of video, please send us uh, an email or um, uh, put it in the comments so we will create it for you. Thank you so much for supporting us.